Of what is Parkinson's disease? It's a disease of the brain. It's where the cells in the brain start to die out early uh, in a certain area of the brain. And these cells happen to produce a chemical called dopamine. And because of that loss of this chemical, people will develop symptoms. So it's loss of a chemical in the brain uh, more often in men or women? Men. And more three often to two. In, in men. What are some mm -hmm. of the signs that you see when somebody comes into your office and they've got a problem uh, and it's going to be Parkinson's disease? What do you see? Usually they'll come in many times with a tremor. Uh, the family will bring them in. The patient will either notice the tremor or sometimes not. The family will bring them in because they noticed a tremor. They also notice a decreased arm swing. So when people walk, you're used to seeing both arms swinging. And when one stops swinging, it's pretty noticeable to someone else. The patient may not be as much aware of it as the family. And so they will come they're in. they're walking with their hands down by their side and they just don't swing? Just one side. Just one side? It starts on oh, one side. That would really be, uh, you'd be pretty aware of that. Yes. Tell me about the tremor. When you say tremor, you mean of the hands or the whole body or where? Usually it starts in the hands. It's a tremor of the hand and it's a resting tremor. So it's a tremor when they're sitting there at rest with their hand in their lap and you'll see a tremor it typically starts in the thumb and maybe the first finger. So it used to be called a pill rolling tremor because they would have this I little mean, motion uh, of the two fingers. Is it more or less like this? Is it, is it's that more or less just the fingers. Just the fingers initially, that are there. And then it gets more pronounced over time. You said tremor at rest. So yes. does the tremor go away when you're not at rest? Yes, when you start to use your hand, the Parkinson's tremor goes away. So their handwriting is not a shaky handwriting. It gets smaller and gets less legible over time, but it's not shaky. And they don't have trouble when they're eating, you know, where you see people with shaky hand, hands when they're eating and drinking. Uh, their tremor goes away with action. So if I said reach out and grab my pen, you'd be able to do that even though your hand was shaking before you started? Yes. And that's characteristic of part. So you've got a tremor, you've got one arm that doesn't swing very well because it starts on one side. What other characteristics? Um, it affects their walking, and so well, their gait changes. How does it change? What, what does the gait of somebody with Parkinson's look like? They start to slow down, okay? One of the features is slowness and stiffness. So those are the other two features of Parkinson's disease, and it affects them not only in their arms and in using their arms, but their feet. So when they walk, they tend to start shuffling their feet or not picking them up as well, and it looks like they're shuffling because they're not lifting them and they tend to be slower. And one side, because it always starts on one side before it moves into the other, the one side will appear to be dragging or be slower because it's not keeping up with the other side. So if there's one side that it's involved, do people say, do I have a stroke? Is that sometimes what they come in sometimes for? Sometimes they will worry about that, yes. And they will describe it as dragging. I'm dragging my leg or dragging my foot. But there's no weakness in Parkinson's disease. So it's not a weakness, it's a slowness to where it, that side can't keep up with the other side.